After only two months, this keyboard died, so I took a chance and bought this black 63 key wireless keyboard. And let's see if I've wasted 70 Australian dollars. Now, the manual is okay, but crams in everything on two pages in the smallest font, which is really difficult to read. Now, I'm a fan of these keyboards as I like a clutter-free desk. The construction looks solid all around, and at 700 grams, doesn't feel cheap to hold. The black finish, however, will show up all kinds of dirt and dust, and if we flip it over on the back, we have the power switch. Now, the feet pop up nicely to give a three degree elevation. And as with the previous keyboard, I was impressed by the lack of flex after applying a decent downward force. You can pair up to three devices to the keyboard. Hold down the function key in either the Z, X or C for three seconds until the button flashes. And then open the settings on your device to pair. To save space, functions like home and page up and page down have been grouped towards the middle, as well as the multimedia controls just to the left of that. But the keycaps are the weak point, they feel cheap and are definitely not double shot. The red RGB switches look great and have a 2mm travel and a 4mm total travel. Now I'll flip through some of the lighting modes which you can switch up using the function key and the question mark. You can also use the function key and the up down arrow to adjust brightness or the function key in the left right arrow to adjust the speed of the effect. Now some of the visual effects look okay but of course can be a bit distracting when typing. And overall the sound from the mechanical keyboard is bearable and tops out at a maximum 75 decibel at about 2 inches. I hope you enjoyed that short video. Here are two more for you and hit the subscribe button bell notification for updates on all new content.